if I call the hot dog a sandwich? Do you think that you will be fine with it? If not, then why? Let's bust this wide. Mary, Carrie, Kelly, oh my, is it a sandwich? Well, let's decide. Hi there, I'm your producer, Matt, and I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Anyhow, I am very sorry for that terrible pun, uh, but now it's time. Order up. <laughs> I hope, I hope yeah. you're having a nice sorry. day. <laughs> Not really, but... Yeah. I, uh, I like it. Oh, boy. I love this. I, I think we should come out with a greeting card line with this fun <laughs> math phrases of like... Don't waffle. I I'm not waffling. I woof you. I don't know. <laughs> I waffle you. I waffle you. Um, yes. I waffle you. Um, you are the batter to my pancake. Oh I know. my! That doesn't sound good. That does not sound no, good no. at all. Thank you back, friends. Uh, everyone listening at home or in the car or wherever you may be. Uh, I am Kelly Zemnikas, uh coming to you today uh, once again. Uh, just like the last episode from Montreal, where um, I'm going to laugh about it when I hear this, when this episode airs, but it is presently minus 41 degrees Celsius, Ugh. which I think is about the same Fahrenheit. I enjoy how at a certain point, usually you can do like, there's a difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then at some point they just go, screw it. And they merge. <laughs> the same they just give, it, give it up. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, uh, what is the temperature in LA? Make us jealous. What What's it like? Do you really want to know? I have people back in Boston giving me the middle finger on text. <laughs> do you want to know? It's um, sure, I do. 72 degrees. <gasps> oh, shut up. Oh, 72 <laughs> degrees, sunny, but there is a gale warning. Is There's a Celsius gale warning. Fahrenheit? That's Fahrenheit. <laughs> There's a gale warning, though. For, for harbor crafts, there's a gale warning. A gale warning. There we go. So, wow. All yeah, right. It's very um, nice. But <laughs> I got to tell you, I have a semi-in-ground pool. Ooh. And we've not been keeping it up because it's been so rainy here. Mm. So it looks like the pool from Stranger Things. If you guys know it, <laughs> you know the Barb was sitting contemplating why she didn't have a boyfriend. That's her <laughs> so, you know, it's not so glamorous here in Los Angeles. Aww. Oh, goodness. Uh, Carrie and Matt, what's it like in Toronto? Is it warmer? No. It's warmer than, your, than Montreal, but not that. It's still cold enough to be miserable. Yeah. It's minus 24, 25. I'm checking right now and it feels like yeah. minus 28 right now. It's, it's, it's yeah. amazing, friends. It's a good day for a hot chocolate or yeah. a lot of bourbon or a red wine <laughs> or something boozy. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the listeners at home, you just heard a quick little bite there of, a, of our guest coming up today who we are going to introduce very shortly. But as we do on Order Up, Matt, you are the purveyor of fine food facts. What do you have for us today? Well, pancakes have been a part of human history for a very long time. The first known pancakes were actually found in the stomach of Otzi the Iceman, uh, the famous human remains dating back 5,000 years. What? Uh, yeah, so we've been eating them <laughs> since before we were like the very earliest days of humanity. Uh, but pancakes are so part of our culture that they've worked their way into our pop culture, like the show The Last of Us, where a plot point is a source of infection that destroys the human race is the wheat used in pancake mix. Um, <laughs> now, the scary part is there's an actual disease called pancake syndrome what? or oral mite anaphyla anaphylaxis. This occurs in tropical regions, like in the show The Last of Us, uh, when mites contaminate the flour Ew. to make pancakes, causing Ew. breathlessness, wheezing, and all sorts of scary symptoms. Um, fun fact as well, this week I read scientists are saying, oh yeah, global warming is causing it, so yeah, those funguses will be able to infect our wheat pretty soon. Oh my god. Oh so, yeah, uh, watch your pancakes because they may get you. So those this are is another my... good reason. This is a good reason to choose waffles, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, I will oh, say that I will say that I've never left an IHOP without diarrhea. So I don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my! It might not be the pancake. No, maybe the maybe the the, the fungus will be improved. <laughs> All right, friends. On that note, it's time for episode three of Order Up. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. Can you tell us who's our guest today? <laughs> I, uh, I think I've met our guest before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I know him pretty well. He is sitting right next to me. Um, he is a, a New York based comedian. Uh, he's one of the stars of a movie currently airing on Amazon Prime, but you can find it on all the streaming services. It's called Tomorrow's Today. And he recently recorded an album, a comedy album, which will be coming out soon called None of This is True. Please give it up for Mr. Adam Gable. Yay! Thank you you very much for having me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't keep my mouth shut. (laughs) But for the record, nobody told me not to talk until... (laughs) But although the second time, I knew it. The second time, I knew it. The first time was an honest mistake. Okay. (laughs) Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for doing this. Uh, Thank you. (laughs) All right. Who is quizzing Adam today? I forget. I am. I am. But. Ready? I blame menopause because I called him Adam Label. Oh. (laughs) So not Adam Gable. So I'm sorry. It's, I blame. So it's Adam Gable is what it's It's really a very hard last name to understand. (laughs) To me, it's very easy, but. You know, it was one of the first words I learned. So to me, it was a <laughs> well, I suppose if your last name is Kazarowski, that seems like it's like, oh yeah, Kazar. How do you not? That's like it's the second word I learned how to spell. Are you not as smart as a four-year-old? But anyway, apparently it's a very hard name to understand. I've been told that. Uh, well, my so- married name is Hall, and I have oh. to always say H A L L because people cannot. They call oh. me Paul. Yeah. Oh, I see, no. yeah. I see that. Yeah. I get yeah. Haim, oh. Haim, get Haim, I get Haim, I get <laughs> shame, whatever, like just anything that rhymes. <laughs> Spelling is always good. Spelling is good. I got a lot of Zemnikis, Zemnikis. Yes. Think it's related to the guy who made, you know, like Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. I'm not. <laughs> not. Not, not but it might it's open a door. Person. You never oh. know. <laughs> 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 Matt, what about you? No, not really. I mean, I'm actually pretty lucky. I mean, our, it's like R like like pirates and dill like pickles. So it just kind of goes. <laughs> it's it's going to be the easy. name of your production company. Yeah. Pirate uh, pirate pirate pickle. <laughs> the bottom half is wood, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary. All right. Adam Gable, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Adam, the first question. Now, you might have been prepped because you are sitting next to. Uh, one of our fine executive producers, but <laughs> what is your favorite comfort food? Uh, my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows me, they know that I, I don't eat for comfort. I used to eat for comfort. I lost like uh, about 70 pounds a few years ago. Oh. One of the things I did was stop. I stopped eating for for, for enjoyment, which kind of makes me like, what the hell am I doing on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was in the hotel room and Kelly was like, I'm going to report this. I'm fine, no problem. Well, is there a food you enjoy? Is there something you like? You- I mean, I... No, I like, like chicken. I like chicken salad. That's something. Okay. Oh, I love it's chicken good, salad. But like, a, it's got to be the kind that you can only get it like this in the New York bodegas, not the mm. Wednesday bars. The chicken chunks are small. And yes. Big pieces of celery. Oh, that and sounds good. Like just the right amount of mayonnaise and something else. Yeah. The big so, chunks are popular here in Los Angeles. I see. And I can't. And I can't. It's not something like I've even tried it where I took the chunks home and cut them up. And they oh them them, like the stuff that you find at those bodegas because I lived in New York and it's not the same. It's too mm-hmm. much mayonnaise. It's, it's not. Yeah, I don't, there's something about it that, that that's like, oh. I think that ultimately, I think that this probably all comes, arrives in New York from Southern Jersey at like 6 a.m. every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, like gasoline truck, right? And they just hose up to the deli. The guy gets out, he turns it on and like 3,000 pounds of chicken salad moves into the bottom of the deli. Then he closes it up and he drives oh down God. the block. Yeah. 
How the hell else do they all have it exactly the same? <laughs> it tastes exactly. It tastes exactly the same in any bodega you go. And I can't recreate it. And the most embarrassing thing is if I'm at a deli in LA, I go, do you have the small chunks <laughs> or the big chunks? And Aww. they, yeah, it's really, oh, it's wow. <laughs> they probably, probably take that personally in LA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, excellent. See, we are, we agree, Kelly. Oh, we're, we're, yeah, and I are agreeing already. Okay. Um, what is a food habit that Kelly does that drives you nuts? <laughs> well, she keeps making me come on these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> no, a food habit. No. Uh, 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 be I, honest. Uh, you can be honest. I, I think it's like the, the 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 impulse buying. If I had to say something. Ah. Although I will say today, uh, we bought, she was going to buy some Cracker Jacks and decided at the last minute not to buy some Cracker Jacks because the popcorn that we had in the hotel room was good enough. Okay. Also, I'm, I'm five foot three listeners. And I think the bag of popcorn I bought is about five foot three. So I wow. should just, <laughs> we bought a lot of popcorn. <laughs> it's so it's, it's like the thing where it's like, it's like the thing where you don't really need that, but you're going to get it anyway. So yeah. Exactly. Okay. And that's a yeah, that's it's, thing. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's easy hard. for me though because I don't. We go to, out to eat and I get very little, so I just sit there and I just watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of willpower. I don't know if I could do it. I don't think I could do it. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been. I have been told that uh, it's strangely easy for me. It was okay. easy for me. I, I. What happened was I went to go buy some clothes mm-hmm. in twenty fifteen. And I didn't fit into a size. Like I was moving into the next range of sizes. Mm. And I was like, oh, that's going to just keep going and going and going. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I just, that day I went home and I was like, oh, this is what an apple tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I just changed my diet. I stopped drinking soda. And it just, I know it's like, it's so, it's the worst. I have, it's really, actually, it's really bad because it's, like it, it, I manage it in a very in a, in a way that I don't think anybody else could. So right. I wouldn't encourage anybody else to do it. It's just yeah. I have a weird just sense of what's what I should and shouldn't eat, and I just do it. I offered him fries today, and he refused. No, I don't need that. That's that's yeah. willpower. Yeah. yeah. My, thing about, my thing about the fries, the thing with the grill is like, mm. the fr- I don't care how healthy or how like. How, how little you put on those fries. You're cooking them in a puddle of grease mm-hmm. that had a Philly cheesesteak on it right beforehand. Delicious <laughs> grease. Yeah, Delicious no, that's really good. That's what people want. Delicious. They want the fries to taste like Philly cheesesteak. Delicious. It's very <laughs> um, What was the first thing you learned to cook? I, I actually don't know how to cook anything. Oh, I really don't. okay. I don't, I don't know. The other day I made spaghetti and I screwed it up. I'm not. Even, oh. I'm not even, like, that sounds like a bullshit. Like, that sounds like it's not true, but it is true. I didn't realize that when you pour the spaghetti, that it's going to start sliding. If you hold it so that it's going to, if you imagine you're holding the box of spaghetti, where when you pivot all the way, yeah. so the open part is over the center of the box. That means that when you pivot about 30 degrees, which is enough for the spaghetti to start sliding out, it is not over the rim of the pot. So all the spaghetti slides out and just lands on the floor. So that's how I, I don't know how to make it. And nobody but told it, you that there would be math involved making the spaghetti and the degrees and the thing. You need a protractor now and it's a whole thing. Protractor. Yeah. I can follow plans. But And maybe it's because I have kids. The 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 – the spaghetti, if it lands on the floor and you throw it in the boiling water, it fixes everything. Five second rule. That's right. Five it's, second rule. Except yeah. you've never seen how dirty my floors are. Uh, <laughs> you have this not. is true. Oh, okay. I live in the basement. It's very. Uh, <laughs> I would have had to grab it. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> 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 Listen, come back for the outtakes and you'll hear that joke. Thank God. All right, good. Uh, what was your favorite cereal as a child? Oh, this one I actually have a real answer for. Uh, Fruit Loops. I like Fruit Loops a lot. Yum. Fruit Loops. Did you guys? I mean, I, wow. I didn't know what the Fruit Loops were like in Canada, but in 
in in the United States, it's hard to explain. You know that you know that smell when you walk through a freshly clean bathroom and you're yeah. like, I should not be enjoying this much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Imagine somebody made it okay to eat that smell. Okay. <laughs> this is what I liked about the Fruit Loops. I, the, the face is appropriate for. for <laughs> it's a totally, un- a totally unnatural citrus. Like, yes, yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. citrus it's that occurs in nature. <laughs> it's a very, yeah. and they were like, uh, there was like somebody cheated. It was like somebody like souped up Cheerios. That's what I liked about it. It was like they fucked fuck around with Cheerios a bit. <laughs> when did you last have Fruit Loops? Uh, I used to get, well, this is the thing is that once I be, once I became old enough to buy my own cereal, that's ah. I got to a point where I needed to cut out all that stuff was I would buy Fruit Loops all the time. And yeah. frankly, once I realized that the, um, that the, you can get twice as much for half price if you buy the cheap stuff, it's <laughs> 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 uh, milk. You cannot beat the milk of a bowl of cereal after it's yes. had Fruit Loops. It's like that strawberry quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I forgot it's about really that. Good. Really, yeah. It's a very artificial taste. I like, mm-hmm. I like the taste of uh, capitalism. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a strawberry quick person too? Are you a dinner? Uh, not really. Honestly, okay. not really. I would, I'm allergic to strawberries. So oh. even, though there's, even though there's nothing in strawberry quick that I'm actually <laughs> allergic to, it's just the fact that it says strawberry on the, on the bot. On the yeah. Bot, kind of a, a turn off for me. But I've had it. <laughs> I love it. So, that's great. Okay. Are you, so here's the big question. <laughs> this is the big question of the day. Um, are you on team waffle or team pancake? Um, uh, I'm on, uh, you know, at first I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh, but I am definitely on team waffle. Yes. Uh, I like a waffle. I like a waffle. Um, because it's, it's all, well, for one thing, people say that waffles and pancakes are the same, but I don't think so. I think when you have that extra thickness, it really adds something to Mm -hmm. it. There's like a crust on the waffle that's Mm -hmm. better. And then also I like the little, um, it, it, you know exactly how much syrup you should have. You want to fill the hole up right to the top. The pockets. The pockets. It's like you're not making an ice tray is what you want to do. <laughs> when you take the waffle, if you put the, the, the syrup on, you take the waffle and you tilt it a little bit over the sink so that all the extra syrup oh falls God. off into the bottom. And then you have the perfect uh, waffle tray. That's what I like. I uh, like a waffle. Um, yeah. And a blueberry waffle, too. A blueberry waffle is pretty good. Mm. I think that's, I think I'm on Team Waffle. Did but you know I was on Team Pancake? I didn't know you were on Team Pancake. There we go. Uh, oh, I like okay. a waffle. Drama. Yeah. So, <laughs> Adam, are you a, like a statistician? Like you're very math oriented. Like statistician? Uh, I'm very good with math. Math was always a strong suit. Before I was a comedian, I was a lighting designer. And there's a uh, lot of math. It's, okay. very, it's very, if you've ever seen my handwriting, you know that I know how to uh, do hand drafting. He's excellent <laughs> handwriting. I mean, and my preferred medium here. is dry erase board, which Ooh. makes me very good for like managing comedy shows because everybody can always read <laughs> their name on a dry erase board. I can't tell every time I put I put up a lineup, someone's like, Did you write that? Go, like, you're writing excellent. Like, That's not very funny. Um, and I'm like, I used to be a dry and I go through the whole thing. So I'm gonna go off topic because I know we're mm-hmm. time. How did you two meet? For our listeners out there, Kelly and Adam are together. We, we are. are. We are. We are. This is my bow. We met. Mo. We met um, I really uh, want to sing the Kelly and Adam sitting in a tree, but I won't sing that because that would be silly. Do you, you want to tell them how we I'm met? Dead, uh, we met in a Zoom meeting, everyone. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom bringing people together. It's for meetings. It's for romance. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we met uh, April 2020 on the Zoom. Um, but we, we, you know, we started getting to know each other uh, about a year ago. About a nice. year ago. And we met in person March 2022. I had to think of what year it was. Yeah. Right. It's a bit of a blur. Um, but yeah, that's how we met. Yeah. This is nice. There we go. You know. We, so when you knew. met each other in person, mm-hmm. yeah. was it Mark. instant love? Yeah. Well, we were. It, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we were. I mean, we, we kind of knew that we were 
was seeing yeah. each other. By the right. Time. Yeah. We when she came to New York, we we went we, to a diner. That yeah. was our first meal together. Aww. We went to a diner. At the, uh, All we day breakfast. To, we went to the uh, the. The, the star the, no it's the tiktok no, diner tiktok diner TikTok diner in the new york hotel on 34th mm-hmm. street and 8th avenue nice if you ever go in there if you ever in new york that's a good diner also there's a bathroom in the basement that's always they always clean it and they don't care whether or not you've been to the restaurant or not. <laughs> this is good to know that's good to know <laughs> that's good to know <laughs> I always, know where I always know where there's uh uh but we we when we got when we met we we knew we were uh we knew that we, we were a match oh yeah at the lobby of CNN. That's right, because uh, that's we Aww. met in the, in the Hudson Yard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember the first meal you guys had together? It was the all day breakfast. Okay. Yeah, we did all day breakfast. Yeah, I think I probably yeah. had an omelet. I would guess that's what I, I mm-hmm. probably had hash browns, right. mm. like some kind of corned beef hash. Because I'm obsessed with that when I go to the states. They don't do it the same way in Canada, and there's something about like. A corned beef hash. I'm just, I'm in. I just, I gotta have it. I gotta eat it. You know? It's so good. It's so good. I probably got an egg white omelet. He, that's I think I he did. Yeah. I, when I when, <laughs> one of my one of my wrote one of my one of the comics that I travel with, uh, we'll be in like Kentucky, and I go into a Cracker Barrel, and I'm like, can I have the egg white omelets with asparagus? And they're like, who is this guy? Right. <laughs> So my friend Gary always goes, my friend Gary always goes, yo, put those yolks on my plate. <laughs> so funny. I have a question. Can I ask oh a question? God. I'm yeah. wondering, because Adam, you're so um, structured with your food and so disciplined with your food, and Kelly is more devil may care, let's say. Yes. Do you do you think that there there's gonna be any conflict about food choices and like how Kelly chooses to eat versus how you choose to eat? Uh, I, I don't think there's I don't think so. Uh, there's never no. any issues about what okay. we're eating at the same yeah. time. Okay. There's, there's, there's usually seven options that Kelly suggests before <laughs> I say it. She's like, oh do you want Vietnamese? I no, I don't <laughs> Vietnamese. She'd be like do you want Nepalese? Can we? No. <laughs> Nepalese. <laughs> okay. There was this fantastic Ethiopian place. Uh, yeah, not out of. Not. But you like the food I cook for you. I do like the food that you cook for yeah. me. Okay. I get to order on the menu. <laughs> As Kelly's eaten Kelly's cooking and baking, it is very good. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's we've really all. Great everybody stuff. here's been out on It'll Be Fine. And so, actually, yeah. I had one of Carrie's uh, latkes. Oh, that's I, true. I made latkes and Adam when Adam was there on Kelly's show, yeah. and they yeah. were yummy. And even uh, even latke. Kelly's parents drifted in after a while because it smelled so good. And they did. Some, yeah. And uh, to our listeners, if you head to our Instagram page, mm-hmm. uh, that video is still up of Carrie and I doing doing the latke so you can watch and follow along. Uh, you can't smell it, no. but you can get the sense of how good that was because <laughs> they were so good. They were good. Um, but I think, you know, I think we've started a trend with this. I think we've got to bring everyone's everyone's uh, better halves on the show, Ooh. other halves on the show, and uh, get get some food takes from – from Matt's partner and Carrie and Mary. Okay. You are, I'm partner. in. I, I could persuade him. We <laughs> <laughs> met Charles and he he didn't speak. My husband. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a really that hard. That may be a problem. <laughs> that could be a problem. That could be a problem. For a podcast, it could be hard. Yeah. He's not a wordsmith. He's, he's, he's not a wordsmith. But, no. you know. No. But what he does say, like I found when I when I was at your place and we were doing uh, an episode of my YouTube show, it'll be fine. Um, anything he did say was like, why didn't I think of that? Right, <laughs> pointed and, and important. And he's probably most of. Well, I mean, unless you're dating a comedian, the other person is probably realizing I should just keep my mouth shut unless I. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be a problem. <laughs> well, with uh, with Adam's answer, uh, I think Team Pancake, which I am supporting, is still in the minority. Anybody on the panel has has your mind changed? I see shaking of heads. No, You're still all waffle, waffle. Especially after hearing about pancake syndrome. Oh, I know. Never I know pancake. that just that's unpleasant. Yeah. Can you imagine telling somebody that? You have, Kara, you haven't been to work in a while. I have pancake syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs are infecting my body. It's 
It does kind of sound like a 1980s movie of the week title. Yes. Pancake Syndrome. The Girl with Pancake Syndrome. (laughs) Wearing Tom Hanks. (laughs) I'm sure they have a topical solution for that. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's, it's. Pancake syrup or something. Um, <laughs> table syrup. Table syrup. Uh, it's just far. It's just crazy to me that people have been e- eating pancakes. What'd you say? Five thousand bees. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's Five thousand bees. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. I mean, just imagine going to oh. the international cave of pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I just imagine it as like you know you got like you got a, you got a, like a worn out wait staff member at the front. She's like, "All right, come on, here's your stone guard back there. We'll uh, make make your meal. What do you want? Oh, I want an ostrich egg. Okay, that's the table. Right, it's drawn on the wall over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See that, see that guy with the spear? Yeah, Some that. kid's etching it at the wall. <laughs> God. Oh, my gosh. Well, listen, uh, Excuse me. That that has been episode three of Order Up. Um, I'm, I'm still, it's over. Yeah. No, we're, I mean, no one's ever told me to shut up. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a whole fight when this closes. Yeah. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> we'll be, be back fine. with a brand new episode. See if I can get anybody to join Team Pancake. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be a hard sell, but uh, yeah. I'll see you next. We'll we'll hear you next time. We'll yeah. see you. I'll see you because I <laughs> never. You get it. And anyway, let's just stop this. Anyway. Bye. 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 Today's kid of the week is ten-year-old Jack. Jack, are you Team Pancake or Team Waffle? I have to go with Team Pancake because, come on, they're pancakes. Who can say no to a delectable syrupy pancake? It's <laughs> a good point. Okay, so I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh. So a lot of the time, pancakes can just be sweet without syrup. Can waffles be se- can sweet? Can be sweet without syrup? I don't think so. Can pancakes be? Yes. Order Up is hosted and produced by Matt Ardill, Mary Kennedy, Larry Hayne, Kelly Snekis, and original music is by Rebecca McDonald. 